Hey, what's up guys? I have a quick unboxing here for you. This is uh, a steel book, a Best Buy exclusive steel book, apparently. I thought this was not exclusive to Best Buy, but what do I know? Uh, it's a steel book, uh, Bad Boys 1 and 2, and it includes 4K, Blu-ray, and digital. Um, I just happened to see this at my store. I was looking for those new um, Halloween, what do you call them? The, the stupid, like, Dia de los Muertos covers. I wanted to see if they had those steel books, and they didn't have any of them, but they had this in the store, and I haven't seen this in the store since it first came out, and it was twenty four ninety nine. and I thought, well, that's not a terrible price for 4K, and if I wanted to, I could sell both the 4K and the digital probably for about that price, so that works out for me, I guess, and I get the Steelbook and the movies, and I have never seen either of these films, so I thought, I actually can't tell you how many times I've almost bought the two-pack in the Sony Save Station, I can't speak, the Sony Save Station for the last year, and I almost have multiple times, and I just didn't, and then, uh, I'm glad I didn't because I can, I can get this now. So how about I unbox this real quick? Like, shit. All right. It looks like it's yeah, it's matte. But they're always matte. Not that I mind. Matte's fine. Ouch. Good fuck. Let's take myself on a fucking keyboard from here. There we go. Let's get the sticker off of there or glue off of there. And it's just like fucking just squirted some glue on there. What do I know? So yeah, like I said, I haven't seen this film. I think this is Michael Bay, right? For both films? I think so. Wait. Yeah, both films. I've heard that they're making a sequel to the, well, I guess a third film, I suppose, for the making trilogy. So, make some up. Take a look at the images quick. I don't see Dennis. That's cool. Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. Um, not a huge fan of Martin Lawrence. I've only seen a few things that he was in. And um, Will Smith, um, I used to love Will Smith because, you know, my child of the 90s. So, of course, I did. But um, in recent years, I'm not as not as into him. He's kind of making poor decisions, I think, in films. And not entirely his fault, I guess. Um, Suicide Squad was, um, it, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, here is the description of Bad Boys 1. $100 million worth of confiscated drugs. It's been jacked from police custody once the career bust of Detective Mike Low Lowry and Marcus Burnett, the missing drugs now threaten to shut down the narcotics division of the Miami Police Department. Their investigator turns deadly. The murdered murderers kidnap the only witness, a beautiful police informant, Taylor a close friend of the boys. Hmm. Cool. And these are both rated R too, so that's cool. Um, this is from '95, and this one was '90. 90... Wait, 2003? Really? Oh, I thought it was the '90s still. Oh, cool. Um. Hang on for maximum mayhem, full-on fun, and the wildest chase scenes ever put on film. That's uh, that's some marketing. Action and comedy never stop when superstars Martin Lawrence and Will Smith are united as out-of-control, trash-talking buddy cops. Bullets fly, cars crash, and la laughs explode as they pursue a whacked-out drug lord from the streets of Miami to the bar barrios of Cuba. But the real fireworks... Okay, I'm, I'm done reading that, sorry. <laughs> that's just... Yeah, anyway... Um, I assume, um, there's no, doesn't say anything about special features on here, I don't think, does it? No. But I'm assuming it's the same features on the initial, uh, Blu-ray discs, and I, I assume the 4Ks do not have any features, like usual. And there's the information on that. And it says it's all region for 4K, right? It is Sony. Is Sony usually all region? I think they are, typically. Anyway. Like I said, here's the front. I do kind of like that image. It's kind of busy, but it's, you know, it's pretty cool. Bad Boys 1 and 2. I'm hopeful now that if they do make a new one, they'll put a steelbook out. Because, because of course they will, because they're going steelbook crazy. So I'm defying that. Hold on. Excuse me, shit. I have a code here, and I will keep that. Bad Boys 1 and 2. And this is a Movies Anywhere code, so... And here are the 4K discs, and then the... Just Blu-ray discs. Now what I'm going to end up doing, probably, is... Take this out if I can. And then I'll just have the two discs here. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Cool. Bad Boys 2, Bad Boys 1. Let's see the discs here. I'm always curious to see if they're like scratched up or not. I've heard stories that some of the discs come scratched. I don't know if that's from certain studios. This looks fine. Same with the Blu-ray, too. Hmm. 
I don't know. Oh, I guess I should show the back. It looks like it's just gold. Right? Yeah. I guess that matches the the front too, so in fact hold on let me do this. Do, do, do. Going crazy with me. Actually hold on a second. Actually this disc is fine too, right? Yeah. I've heard that 4K discs are actually a lot easier to scratch than um, Blu-rays. I don't know why. So there's the Blu-ray of Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2. And there's my discs that I will probably keep. Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2. Just the Blu-ray discs, which is fine with me. Cool beans. Hmm. Can I see a spine slash? Nope. Cool. I like Sony. I think Sony puts out good products. I don't necessarily always like the stuff that they put out, but they usually take a very they take very good care of their um, transfers. Typically, Blu-ray or not. Hold on, that's it. there. We go. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, you know, same old spiel. Lots of stuff coming out. I just can't stop buying shit because I just I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> so yeah, there's more coming. Usual shit. Um, next giving's on the way. Enjoy yourself. Gluttony. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm just babbling now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you around later. Uh, bye.